Welcome back everyone, today is a look and sneak peek if you like at some of the gameplay coming in Somerset. Now what this basically is, is of course some of you may know that I went to uh, Zenimax HQ recently in Baltimore, but before that, the day before that in fact, I went to London for their press release of Somerset. And while I was there I was given the opportunity to play for an hour, so this is cut down somewhat, um, the new content in a very pre-alpha kind of state. So there's no voiceovers, um, there's some of the sound missing and there's some of the textures missing and that kind of stuff as well. But I've been given permission to kind of show what I played. Now some of this is me running around going, ooh, what's that? And other stuff is kind of uh, more content based, but you'll get to see quite a bit anyway, visually and of course the tutorial and a sneak peek at the kind of walk into the trial. Um, so the tutorial is actually very, very interesting in comparison to what I've seen before. It's still got the basics where you learn mechanics, you learn combat, um, you have a little bit of a quest to kind of get you into where everything goes, getting used to your your objectives on your map and your uh, compass as it's showing at the moment. Nearly messed my words up already, good start. And um, also this will teach you um, just how to control your character overall. As you saw at the very beginning of course it tells you how to move, which you didn't really get too much of before. Um, it locks you in place so you can't actually move until you do it properly. There's also a really good one coming up to do with your camera. I had a lot of people asking me in the past, how do you zoom in and out of your camera or how do you change your perspective? Now of course this is done with a control pad so this will tell you how to do that and on PC it will tell you how to do it with the keyboard. But if you look as I run down this staircase you can see there, it tells you how to change your perspectives. I get that asked so many times on live stream um, it's really really good to see that that's finally in there but on console of course uh, push down you'll move in and out from third person to third person but if you just hold down the d-pad and move the right analog stick backwards and forwards that will actually zoom in and out this was never mentioned before in any tutorial so that's a really really nice change but most of the tutorial in comparison to others is actually quite a bit faster it's much faster than the Varden Fell one it's much faster than the Wayland Prison and of course you don't have to actually be a new character to go through this. You can you can pick up the quest anyway. Or if you're new to the game, you can you can pick it up straight away or go in wherever. It's up to you. This base mechanic stuff, light attacks, heavy attacks, interrupts and blocking. This is crucial stuff that you have to remember for the whole game. So a lot of people go through and treat this as a, a quick time event. Just kind of smash, 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 buttons done and get out. Don't. Make sure you pay attention to it. Understand what this does. You can see obviously they get knocked off balance if you block them or interrupt them and then you can hit them harder with a heavy attack afterwards and knock them down and stuff. That's very very important. Um, this section here is just me going over some of the combat options so I can get my buffs and debuffs on the window and also show percentages and flower mounts on my bars. Now this to console players is probably quite important because lots of people don't know where those options are. So you go to options, go to combat, you can alter everything how you want. All of my videos are done on the console, on my live kind of, well most of them, most of them are, the build videos are anyway, on my live uh, main characters if you like, so it's all done on an actual PS4, so we don't have add-ons. I get asked a lot of the time, do you use add-ons? Nope, I just use those options. So that's where they are. This is where they teach you how to jump, and of course, as a pro, I don't jump and I just fall, because I've balls it up. <laughs> but um, Again, this is teaching you the base movement mechanics, combat mechanics. It gives you a weapon as well, which you can see I've already got. I can't buy any skills yet because I haven't leveled up yet, but I can put on the basics. Now, if you kill something with a weapon, that will unlock that weapon's skill line. And this is no different here. You get to see this as well. You'll see that I kill something with the sword and board, and I unlock one hand and shield skill line, which I think is this guy here. As you can see visually, this place is absolutely stunning, very vibrant as hell, really, really kind of blue and purple and quite different to what you've seen before, especially in comparison to like the Wayland Prison, which was very Daedric based, of course, being in Cold Harbor, and uh, the island as well in Vardenfell, which was very volcanic and active and quite shiny. This is completely different. There you go, there's the skill line unlocked. A couple more base enemies to kill, and then they'll push me into a boss quite quickly. It's really, really fast. You just follow the quest line. You don't have to go through loads of lock picking and all that kind of stuff, um, and huge uh, story-based stuff to get in and out of the tutorial. It's really, really fast. Not to say that the story in the last tutorials were bad, because they were not. They're actually very good. But you don't 
get hung up on the tutorial. You don't stay in there too long. You kind of get thrown to basics and then straight out into the real world, if, if you like. Uh, what have we got here? Skills. Still can't use a skill because I haven't leveled up yet. Of course, I took advantage of the double XP. Or the extra XP, even. See, achievements as well. Very basic, very first time achievement unlocks. So if you go into your achievement options, you can check them straight away and see just how many things there are to do. And then straight into the boss. So you do combat, do movement, kill a couple of ads, then the boss. Really, really fast. Now this boss, of course, is going to take a little bit longer than usual because you're very low level, you don't have any skills yet. But you can use everything you've just learned on this target. He's only got 58k health, which is fine because I don't do a lot of damage. So you can use your lights and heavies as you were taught. You can use your block as you were taught. And you can use your interrupts. And this is all this fight is basically teaching you, which is... A good thing in my opinion. Stay out of the red. Which of course, by the way, in the gameplay options you can change. Go to gameplay, scroll down until you see the, the colour swatches and you can change it to whatever you want. Again, nothing too complicated. Interrupt the stuff that you need to interrupt. Block what you need to block. And then kill it. It should level me up as well. Yeah, it does. And then you can buy your first skill. And of course, for killing him, you get a necklace with health on it, which basically buffs you up straight away. So you're not too squishy when you go out into the outside world. Points where you want them. Level up rewards as well. They were introduced recently. Very, very good indeed. You can get uh, crates and food and gear and stuff that will suit you or your playstyle while you're leveling up. Very, very handy. So they did still keep that in, which is good. Then you simply follow the quest and get out. Very, very fast tutorial. Done in a really short period of time. Really, really like it. And I really like the fact that they introduced the, the camera uh, tutorial part of it as well. Because that's one where people get out of loss. You see a lot of play, uh, players or people running around with really close cameras and not sure how to change it. Now you know. Soul Magic Unlocked, of course, has to do with the story. If you complete the main story, where you kill, uh, go to kill even Moloch Baal, then you'll unlock that as all the way to six, but you start off as up one. So if you do the Harbridge missions, you'll unlock that. In the meantime, I'm just getting basic skills, just hit and stuns and stuff like that. Nothing major. This isn't how I'd necessarily level up all characters. This is just, I've got an hour to mess with stuff. So this is what I used. And of course, I stuck Soul Trap on just as an additional damage skill, if you like. Texture's missing there. Anything like that, don't worry about it. It's pre-alpha. That's all been fixed since then. There's sound, there's voiceovers, there's textures. Everything's done. Look at that. Good start. Obviously, force of habit. I have to pick everything up and then constantly use merchants to repair and sell. I'm never going to break that habit. You do get a box once you get out of the tutorial. Possibly in, I don't remember. Where you have some legs, which has training on it, so you level up faster. And a bow as well, if you want to use that kind of stuff. You don't have to, but it's there if you want it. So already, straight off the bat, we've got some health on our necklace. We've got some stamina on our legs. We're in a good place already. Already buffing up our stats, and we haven't even picked up anything off the floor. Not major stuff, anyway. Only just one off the boss. This story, I did skip the information. Well, most of it. I think I cut this halfway through actually, that's why you're only seeing some of the text. Um, because I don't want to spoil the storyline too much. I'll basically show you where you start the main quest, but without spoil- There he is, there's Razendar with his shiny, shiny gear and his funny haircut. Straight away, as soon as you get out of the tutorial, you get stuck into the main quest. No messing around, no trying to find out where the main quest starts, you just get straight into it. So again, really, really good. You don't have to um, get confused, especially as a new player. You just go straight up to this dude and get- into the, the swing of quests, if you like. And of course, if you've done all the other stuff before, if you're an existing player, you've been in it for a while, that's gonna be a, a fresh look at the game as far as new content is concerned as well, because a lot of the time you have to kind of look for where you need to go, except for Rothgar. That lady chases you around everywhere. Of course, here's a, a pre-alpha version of the map. Now, I did kind of guess that Arteum would be on the outside of the map, kind of like where Clockwork and Cold Harbor was, which was correct, it is, it's on top right. So there's Arteum there. You will have to go to that place later in the story. You'll get sent there by a lot to do with the Sigic Order, but I won't go too far into that. Of course, the map is huge. It's even bigger than Vardenfell. It's absolutely massive. And there's a trial in there as well, which we, we knew. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of some of that. Not too much as far as the content itself is concerned, but I'm going to go in there. 
Um, on the pre-alpha one, unfortunately, I did run in to try and get smacked to see if I could solo for 30 seconds, but um, they won't let me in past the stairs, so it crashes. But I'll show you anyway, as far as I can show you. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very heavily uh, Ultima influenced, of course, since they live here. Also, you'll notice the guards as well are also wearing uh, high elf armor, except for one. There's one guy I spotted um, on the way in, which you'll see in a moment, who's not wearing high elf armor, which is a little strange. Although he has got a name, so perhaps he's something to do with the story, who knows. He looks somewhat foreign to this area based on what he's wearing, but we'll see. I mean, once you get it, of course, you can do all the quests yourself, but all that stuff I'm kind of leaving out. Like I said, we don't want to spoil anything, but you do want to get a look of how everything is. The, the towers are huge. Look at those. I did go into these, but again, don't want to spoil too much. We want to see more of the uh, the outside. There he is. Look at him. Trinomac heavy armor. Why are you wearing Tr Trinomac heavy armor? I wonder. New trees. Hopefully we can use those in crafting for the houses. So everything's really well laid out on different levels. Red diamond. There we go. Classic. The only sound that was working was Red Diamond. Brilliant. It's really, really high up on a cliffside as well. I did cut it, but I did have an attempt at trying to jump off there. I landed on the grass. Didn't work out. <laughs> More quests that I'll avoid. Don't want to spoil anything. Then cut it again. I did check out the building, but I didn't want to spoil that too much because it's very, uh, very unique in terms of uh, there are some quest elements in there. And of course, they spent a lot of time stealing stuff. You don't want to see that. This is me kind of mm, trying to break stuff. Looking around, seeing how far you can actually go before you get killed or or you crash or die from slaughterfish or whatever. But you couldn't go around the whole island. Some of it you can, some of it you can't. But it's interesting to see nonetheless. Yeah, this is fine. Nope, we can't go any further. So, we dumped that one quickly go to the way shrine and start again obviously like I said we're limited on time so I had to have a really quick look around but this is the next part where you get to see kind of the uh, the overall look of the land which is quite impressive uh, I go off to the left someone's getting killed by guards good stuff <laughs> okay also I show the horse shortly as well the new one they get with the with the chapter itself. It's not as flat as Oridon. Oridon's got a lot of areas which are quite flat as far as the kind of terrain is concerned. This is very elevated. Oh, shit, ton more plants as well. Look at that horse. How long have we got? A month? A bit more than a month until we can get that? Too long, Zoss. We want it now. No, I'm joking. It's awesome. Of course, horses still can't swim. I do try and get to the other side of the water at one point, but um, let's see where we go with that one. Some dwellings out in the, lo in the local area. Probably quests and stuff for later on. Although, again, like I said, I avoid the quests. I know a lot of you people out there want to see the quests and you want to do the quests, but you don't necessarily want to have the quests spoiled, which is what I'm not going to do. There's the trial, as you can see in the middle. Cloud rest up there. The good thing is on the, the test server itself, you could travel straight there, which I do at some point. Colorful as hell. Look at that. It's... Almost untouched as well. Some of it, I mean, there's lots of pathways and stuff, but most of it is untouched. You can see it's quite thick and vegetation wise. This is the first mob that I encountered. The first enemy. Check this out. There he goes. Where'd he go? Oh, he teleports. That is sneaky. Very, very similar to that of the Sigic Order skill line. Did he teleport or did he undo? Who knows? But he's pretty cool. I saw a couple of people testing it as well and they thought it was a glitch. And then we looked at it again and it wasn't. It was an intended mechanic for that particular enemy. Which is quite cool. Kind of a teleporting stag. 
this is where I'm trying to find the world boss. Now, obviously, I get to the area, but he's not there, so no spoilers on the boss. I'm not sure if anyone killed it or whether they weren't on that particular test um, version of the game. I'm pretty sure they weren't there because we were all really, really low level. And I did see this particular boss when I went to Baltimore. Um, and there's no way that a room full of low levels would have killed it, I don't think. Without bodies being everywhere at least. So unfortunately you didn't get to see that one. But you get to see the kind of the area where he's supposed to be anyway. I won't give anything too much away on that one. But it's pretty rough. Yeah, this is me trying to find him still. No success. Moving on. My awesome horse. You do get that with the chapter itself, if you pre-order, I believe. I'm not sure which versions don't include it, maybe they all do. But you do get it with the chapter. Well, well, if you've been in Craglorn much, you're familiar with these. Although these are fluffy. They look like they've got feathers or something on them. They do hit pretty hard as well, for over and stuff anyway. I'm sure some of you know the griffins in here as well, which um, you will see in the trial preview in a moment. Not just yet, a few minutes from here. Some orc and local having an argument. What's an orc doing there? I can't say anything, I'm an orc. And this is the first delve that I come across as well. Again, I did go through this in a fair bit of depth. I actually went through and completed it, although I did get wrecked at the boss. But um, I skipped some of it to not make it one too boring and too too spoilerish as far as some of the uh, locations are concerned. Because you do have to really think about this particular place on the map as to where you should and shouldn't go unless you get it wrong. Because we're chasing you around in circles. So bear that in mind. When you come into here, don't go around in circles. Keep an eye on the map. Quick quest off the guy outside. Of course, just the same as everywhere else. There's a sky shard, there's a boss, and there's a, a quest in all delves. Just like there is in the main game as well. Or the base game, if you like. Let's quickly get stuck into here. Again, everything's completely new. Everything has not necessarily been seen before. Similar st uh, structures, but nowhere near as extravagant as some of this. Definitely not as colourful. Oridon is elven-based, but... The terrain is completely different. This is a, a broken down ruin, ruin, if you like, of some description. Although you can see that the black figures there, that's actually textures that are missing. Now you have to get all the way to the end of the boss, of course. But how you get there is uh, another story. Because there are broken down staircases, there's broken walls, there's um, gaps that you can't get over. There's all sorts of different... Um, things in your way before you can get there and I did do like two or three laps before I figured it out because one I was excited to see it all and two I wasn't getting it correct <laughs> again the enemies though are pretty good I mean you don't have to be stupid levels or anything to succeed I'm very very low level and if you follow the tutorial correctly and you understand light attacks, heavy attacks, blocks and interrupts, they're not too bad. They're not too challenging. They're soloable, um, but if you're not kind of that comfortable, even two of you will be absolutely fine in here. Except for the boss. You need a heal for the boss. That's where I went wrong. So for newer players, this is just fine. You get your skill point or your sky shard, rather. See some of the, the surrounding area and then get out again. Pretty good XP while you're in here as well, as you'd expect from a new delve. Again, yeah, most of the pools are fairly well balanced. You get a melee, a healer, and a caster. So they haven't gone all out massive armies of enemies that you can't manage, and they haven't gone boring one enemy at a time. It's pretty well balanced out. Plus, it looks awesome as well. Some new styles with the armor. You can see a whole new story, of course. And by the looks of it, lots of new houses and stuff coming. This is where I skipped to the top floor. I did go up there a couple of times, but I went around in circles, so I messed it up. Finally got close to the boss, I believe, here. 
armies and armies of Dumbo. Almost every corner has got something to fight, so you're not running around in empty space, if that makes any sense. The boss is on the left. Yeah, this is me going around in a few circles. There we go. Now I'm on the boss. Skip to that bit, of course. Now, I did the fatal mistake of forgetting a heal. And there was a bug where if you get killed, you get killed anyway, but that's been fixed. I don't panic. Um, but he's quite heavy as far as mechanics are concerned for the newer players, but not something that you weren't already taught. Don't stand in red stuff. Interrupt when you have to. Block when you have to. And obviously, you can kill it. Yeah, I boosted up a bit. So I'm starting to get the better of her. Kill him. No one to her. And uh, then you can see that it heals. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm starting to struggle. And then my health starts failing. Oh, Still in stupid a couple times. But if you had a couple of you, not so much of a problem. Solo bolt with a heal. Just to watch that damage shield phase where she heals like hell. Pretty cool though, the fact that there's a small boss and it's got quite heavy mechanics attached to it. Very similar to uh, the Monokino with the lightning on the floor from Wurgle Tower. And she's gonna wreck. Execute. Uh oh. She hit me with a major wrath then. Dead. Perfect. Got killed in, in Somerset. Can't use any skills. I was looking for a heal there, but I couldn't buy one because I had no skill points. But strangely enough, um, it let me still have it, so I completed the quest anyway. She disappeared. Yay, complete. That's been fixed, don't expect that to happen again. Again, mega artwork for Somerset. Burn the back of your eyes with the amount of colour that I put in. There's another person who was also at the press release. I don't remember who that was. Because everyone had their own character names. There was a lot of people in the room. That's me being a dumb dumb. Hand it in. Don't jump off the cliff. Now from here, I kind of go around looking... Heavy sack, of course. Force of habit. I don't even need it. Why do I need it? Uh, now I look around and kind of... Get a bit of a feel for the area a bit more. Look more at... Um, looking to find new locations, looking at the uh, the environment overall, if you like. So again, you've got the main pathways going from one keep or castle to the next, but if you go off to the side, kind of go off road, if you like, everything looks somewhat untouched. Everything's completely uneven and overgrown. I'll try for the boss again, I think. Yeah, he's not here. There's no empty space. Everything's filled with vegetation or broken down rocks or something or other. There's that dude again. That really cool stag looking thing. I think I managed to avoid him though. I wanted to get over to the other side of the water. Because there's a, a storm going on over there. But I'll show you that in a second. No spoilers on it. But I do show you kind of what it looks like from a distance. And so much to see. It's absolutely huge. Yes, it's very easy to get lost unless you put markers on your map. Or unless you're on PC and you've got a mini-map, of course. Which I did ask for. I did ask us for a mini-map again. But, um, who knows. Maybe we'll get one eventually. Even the colour of the water is different. Like, to everywhere else, anyway. If you played any of the other Elder Scrolls games in the past, including this one, of course, but mostly the other ones, um, you get distracted by, ooh, what's that over there? Which is exactly what happens to me on multiple occasions. I had to skip some of this and cut it out because I was just drifting. Uh, yeah, trying to get to the docks. Kind of. New moths. There's also a new alchemy um, ingredient. I didn't find out what it did. I can't for life me remember what it is, but there is one. I 
and then morph my abilities about time. That was the one I wanted earlier, really. That would have killed the boss a lot faster. Never mind. Run, run, run. So, I mean, it's up and down, up and down hills and lumps and rocks and stuff absolutely everywhere, but completely covered in vegetation. Not like Craglon, where it's really, really plain. Not to say Craglon doesn't look good, it does. It's intimidating as hell. But this is kind of all overgrown and you can tell that nobody's been here for a very long time. In most places of the world, right? With feathers on him. It's very similar to the griffin, just with no wings. Must be almost there. Big tower in the sky up there, on top of the mountain. Trying to get to as many tall places as possible during the time that I had. I mean, obviously I saw more when I went to the US, but this particular session, I had to try and get it all in. Really, really high up. I'm going to dark with Patrick so I can try and pass them, but nope. Not today. See, this is the, the uh, initial distraction. I looked at the really, really tall one in the mountain and then ran off to the side to see this one instead. What can you do? One of the keeps, which is on the map. Quest inside there as well, of course. But I don't go into there. I'm trying to get over there. Again, really, really high up. You got a quick glimpse of that then, from a distance. Of course, the um, the graphics have been enhanced since then, especially from long distance uh, viewing, as far as keeps and castles and effects are concerned. But at the time, obviously, it's pre-alpha, so it's uh, not quite as shiny as it is now. Regular bandits, usual type, caster, melee, healer. All at once. They're not too challenging, but challenging enough for newer players. So not too bad. You can imagine if it wasn't someone who'd already played the game for years, then that would be quite difficult. Which is fair enough. Yeah, there you go. The whirlwind in the distance. I was trying to get to it, and then I was running short of time, so I got sidetracked. But you'll be pleased as to why. Or where I went, anyway. So it looks like, uh, this is one, Alinor Docks. There's two um, piers, basically. One off to the left, one off to the right. The one off to the right is the one with the the boat guy. It takes you to different locations, but this one actually doesn't. You can see that I'm looking for him, and I'm clearly in the wrong place. But you do get a good view of what's on the other side. That's why you're running across, look to your left. Massive, massive city over there, clearly upset with something. Something's attacking it. But um, I don't want to stay there for too long. I need to go into uh, the trial. I'm running out of time, so I wanted to go and have a look quickly. Excuse the load screen. That's your testing load screen at its best. Now here's where you get a first look at the griffin. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted with the, the quest guy. Along with his griffin that he rides on. Look at that. How many people are screaming, I want that as a mount? Actually, Wheeler jumped on top of one of those when I was in the US and we did the trial actually, uh, for real, when we did actually try it. He managed to get on top of that and sit on it. And everyone else was trying to jump up it and we couldn't. Now, this is a very sneaky peek. Griffin on the side. There's no voices, of course. This is... Um, been added since, but you can see obviously you can't go anywhere. You're way, way up in the sky. You want to kind of uh, release the griffins, kind of save them, and they do hint at this. I know Finn said it recently on a video, but um, if you defeat them all together, then you're considered the great warrior, or a great warrior. So the nicer side of the story is to kill everything together to save them allegedly but we don't want to show you that 
because uh, Zos have already shown it and I'm not going to spoil that. Plus, I couldn't get any footage of me actually being in there. Although, uh, we did get a chance to go there when we were in the US. So, hopefully that helped. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. I am going to, of course, show you a teaser trailer at the very end of this video, so stay tuned for that. First of all, if you're not subscribed, please do hit that button. It is free. Furthermore, if you want to help support the channel outside of YouTube, there are some links in the description for Patreon, for Facebook, and for Twitter, and of course the website zonodegaming.com. Once again, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope that gave you a, a nice visual insight as to what's to come, and I will see you again in the next video. Peggy 18. I see a familiar place. Haunted by shadows. Shadows that spread across the lands. Seeking to rule over all. In the darkened remains of my home. Your home needs you now more than ever. Welcome back.